<laughs> Good morning, everyone. It is finally that season, that time of year. Big Tire Tractor is in the shop. I guess that's already happened this year. But it is time to put the tanks on the side of the tractor. What does that mean? It means planting season is upon us. Scotty says hi. A little Scotty update. He has been very good at catching mice recently. I think he's coming out of his winter hibernation. And yesterday, he caught a ground squirrel. We are incredibly proud of him. <laughs> <laughs> if you guys haven't seen already, we have some earlier videos where we went through the entirety of the planter, explained a lot of its functions, and really just did kind of like a full service to it. Did any upkeep and maintenance that were required. Um, we put out a couple videos on that earlier this winter. But here is the start of our bracket. We've just been running these mounts here ever since we got these big tires put on back in it's either August or September that we got these put on. But the mounts that hold the tanks, the tanks will go right about here. And that's the first part of our bracket. The tanks will, they're like saddle tanks, dual tanks. So there's a tank on either side and they will have starter fertilizer in them. There'll be a series of hoses that connect the tanks and connect the tanks back to the planter. And that is what we will have running through our SurePoint fertilizer system, which is those, do you see those little colored hoses there? And that is what is going to give our little baby corn seeds the nutrients they need to start their lives and grow big, strong, and healthy. are on. Tires have been inflated to the appropriate number to account for all the extra added weight here. No seed is in yet. We're going to do a little test run. We put water in each of the side tanks so that while we're testing the system, instead of running fertilizer through it, we're just pumping water and everything appears to be working. So as soon as Grant is ready, going to use this seed tender here and there's a pro box full of seed that's what's on top of it right now i know it's kind of a funky looking trailer but essentially it augers the seed the seed falls out of the bottom of the box and then it goes up that auger and then we put it into that big yellow tank back there it's a center fill planter so you only fill it from one point and then a blower fan and a vacuum takes the seeds through that series of tubes and delivers it to each row. It's very windy outside. You can see Grant just lost his hat. Um, <laughs> but while Grant is finishing putting everything together on the planter, getting everything ready to go, fired up on the monitors, I am in this tractor 
and I'm hooked up to the stumper or the root slicer, whatever you wanna call it. And I'm just doing one final pass over about three other fields before we plant. It's raining and you can't exactly plant in the rain. Things don't work like that. So we're on hold until tomorrow. In addition to the rain, it is now hailing. So luckily we got everything put inside. I don't know when we're gonna start planting though. Looks like things are only getting worse too. Out in the field, now we're just going to fill the tanks up with starter fertilizer. After spending the last two hours essentially on the phone with various IT departments regarding all of our different screens here, the first seed of 2023 is going in the ground. Are you excited? Now it's not going to look at it. <laughs> <laughs> so it's important when you're first starting out to dig behind the planter. So this is where we're planting in our row. And you want to check your seed depth. Depth and spacing is very important. Um, and these seeds are not deep enough at all. I barely even had to scratch the surface and find these. They should be like two inches deep. That is not two inches deep. And also this came disconnected. Junk. Working with severely inadequate tools right now. Think that'll hold? Probably. plants in the ground.
I'm walking behind the planter checking seed depth. I think he just left me. When you're planting, it's very important to, when you're, especially when you're getting things set up, um, but even as you're continually going, to find where your row is. You see that? I follow it back and you can kind of see where the closer has been. And then you can kind of see where the trench is. And you dig down, and you can see, you see that hard packed edge there? That's where the blade went in. You dig down and you find your seed. And then you want to make sure that they're properly spaced apart. I think it's supposed to be like six, I mean, depending on your population, but we're looking for about six inches between each corn seed. And then you want your corn seed to be roughly two inches deep. A small oops when planting next to the fence. I don't know if you can see, but that's a big pile of garbage. out there you can't hear yourself think so I don't know if you caught that one of our gauge wheels fell off so I'm going to send Grant to drive around and try to find it and hopefully the bolt that attaches it is with it so we kind of need that do you see that little dust cloud off in the distance there's Grant driving where we planted already looking for it Here's what our cab setup looks like. So this is the monitor that's attached to the steering wheel, to the armrest. This is what we're looking at our hydraulics with. That's all we're looking at this monitor for. Um, and then like your engine temp, your speed, oil temp, that kind of thing. That is over here. Also fuel level, very important to keep an eye on. This is a secondary John Deere monitor. This is what we're running our guidance, um, our auto steer off of press this button right here and that loads that up. That's that white line that we're staying straight on the rows with. And then that blue painting line that we're leaving behind, that is our fertilizer system. So that's what's on either of these tanks here and here. That means that we are applying fertilizer. If you go over here, all our rows are applying as they should be, where we're running about 20 PSI and that's putting on roughly five gallons an acre and we're running that through our SurePoint fertilizer system. Then uh, this is just a plain old iPad, but it is running an app that is um, showing me my population. That's what this color code means. That color means that we're planting right where we should be, which is 32,000 seeds per acre. Singulation means is it dropping the seeds regularly. Uh, there shouldn't be any skips or misses and it's almost at 100%, so I really can't ask for anything better than that. And then the ride right here is showing that the planter is riding really smoothly. It's not bouncing up and down. Um, and then we have our vacuum pressure, how many acres we've done so far, that's 35. And then our skips and multiples are less than 1% each. So things are going really well. Then you can zoom out and you can see the whole field here. Uh, we've gone along and done all of the end rows, all the field borders. Now we're just painting in the middle while the pivot chases us. Make sure you get it tight this time so it doesn't fall off. What is this? The third problem? Fourth problem? There was just kind of a trashy area, so there was a lot of organic material, corn stalks, stubble left over from last year. But you just want to make sure that 
It's just that and not a bearing going out on one of the row sweeps. Everything spins good. We're fine for now. Doing some end rows. That way, once I exit the field out this way, like here, as soon as you exit, it shuts off all your rows at just the right time. It's incredible technology. The same goes for the fertilizer. It will not put fertilizer on where I have already applied it. Another neighbor going across the road. Happy to see everyone out here planting. This has been a long time coming. We've been very patiently waiting to get in the fields. And now we have a lot of acres to do.